plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves in Jesus' name, and we bind and fetter all the enemy in Jesus' name. We also bind and rebuke all the lies, deceptions, illusions, confusions put upon us, even, you know, distractions and even and quite possibly things that the AI, the powers of the air, and Satan are capable of doing. We bind and rebuke his witches, casting spells, uh, messing with the devices, throwing attacks with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' name. We lose the hornets of the Lord against the enemy in Jesus' name. And we lose confusion upon them and upon the enemy. And also we set watches against them. We also set watches on the doors of our lips, our gates, windows, and the rest of our doors in the name of Jesus. Wherever And also wherever the enemy might come in, in Jesus' name. We lose Ezekiel 5 and 2. We pray... It be multiplied, the attack and the damage upon the enemy, in Jesus' name. We lose a whirlwind to lift up the enemy and angels to smite them while in the air. And we smite them with our word that is in our mouth, in Jesus' name. We dance and cut the enemy with the sword of the spirit. We rebuke the water to put the enemy's fire out in Jesus' name. We lose Psalm 11 and 2 upon the enemy in Jesus' name. We pour power into our sword and cut and break and destroy every demon in our lives in Jesus' name. We lose over the enemy Psalm 18 and 2. In Jesus' name, we lose Zechariah 9 and 14, whirlwind, uh, arrow going as lightning, as well as a trumpet being blown in the name of Jesus. In order to cover the forces of the Lord, um, we even lose it a second time in Jesus' name. We lose hailstones mingled with fire and blood. And we pray be multiplied upon the enemy. And, only, and also, Lord, we also pray that you hide everyone else in, in Goshen. Um, or loose special angels to protect them from these things in Jesus' name. We also... So yeah, the reference, uh, Exodus 9 and 24, Ezekiel 38 and 22, and Revelation 8 and 7. Um, tying Zechariah 9 and 14, we also lose the Spirit of the Lord. That he shed his beams upon the enemy. The light of his beams. Uh, to put them to flight. We also loose ugly angels, ugliness, big ugly angels to defeat the enemy's charms and light. So the Lord is light, smiting the light of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we shoot down lightning from the arm upon Satan and his minions, even Jezebel and hers and Ahab. We lose a flame attack, a flamethrower attack upon the enemy in Jesus' name. Well, this one's also a part of it. We bind the demonic squids and octopuses and nets and loose angels to haul them off. We break their power by the blood of Jesus. We also break the power of Beelzebub and his flies. The divine fly swatters be upon them. Even unquenchable ones in the name of Jesus, we bind them and cast them out and cast them down into the pit or wherever Lord Jesus would have them be sent. And we replace all these spirits with the opposite. We bind the associated with those demons and we loose warrior angels to destroy them and replace them with the opposite spirits in the name of Jesus. 
and uh, we also have the demons bound to our authority so we take authority over every flying type spirit demon and put them on notice we command that they wherever they're hiding to come out of the person and leave in Jesus name come out of them right now in Jesus name come out of them especially right now in Jesus name and we also uh, pray as well the prayer um, I forgot which video it was they had the rest of the types all these uh, um, spirits from that, that popular that popular game um, we also take authority over Star Wars spirits and command them to leave the people or wherever they're squatting in the name of Jesus so yeah come out right now in Jesus name you can't stay there you must leave right now in Jesus name come out of the people and let them go let them go and come out of them right now in Jesus name let them go and come out of them right now in Jesus name you heard me come out of them right now in Jesus name come out of them right now in Jesus name and uh, we also come against the animalistic spirits of the occult and this was added to prayer number 12 this is prayer number 12 so this was added to it um, so we come against what demonic serpents so we loose against them um, and divine and angelic honey badgers and mongooses to stop hindering and attack and destroy them in Jesus name we come against demonic scorpions and loose against them unless we can take authority over like uh, existing no I don't think so so scorpions of fear and torment so we take authority over the demonic owls to attack and destroy the scorpions in Jesus name and we take authority over the demonic foxes and command they destroy the demonic owls in Jesus name and if any scorpions escape let divine centipedes come upon those scorpions and destroy them in the name of Jesus uh, we also come against uh, demonic jackals and loose uh, divine and angelic lepers upon them in Jesus name uh, to yeah to attack and destroy them in Jesus name and if any get away we take authority over um, oh, this one was different okay so we come against demonic dogs and uh, we take authority over the demonic jackals the ones that escape Lord let some of them escape and we command them to destroy the demonic dogs in Jesus name we come against demonic flies any that may have escaped from the swatters and we loose uh, divine frogs to annihilate and destroy them in Jesus name um, so we come against demonic sea serpents and we loose against them uh, divine was it I had written in my notes benthic fishes to stop hinder and attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus we come against demonic lions and we loose divine warriors the angelic warriors from God's armies and uh, command that they stop hindering and attack and destroy these beasts in Jesus name we come against demonic bulls and we loose divine wolves to stop hindering and attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus and um, 
Well, if any any mind control spirits of the octopuses and squid of the occult, if any of them got away, we bind and rebuke and cast them out. And we used to find fish to destroy them. Or, you know, any... And, you know, or any... Uh, or the opposite spirit of mind control spirits to, to attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus. But also... Um, we also destroy their dwellings. Uh, we cage them and bind them and place a sp uh, and bind a snare upon them. In Jesus' name. Um, okay, so we come against demonic foxes. Any, you know, um, and we lose uh, divine eagles, divine angelic eagles to destroy them. Also, we, we do command that all these animalistic spirits be bound. We, they are bound to our authority. So we command that they be bound in Jesus' name. Uh, we also loose ourselves from all manner of yokes, such as sickness, bondage, unequal, and poverty in Jesus' name. And we bind those things out and cast them out in Jesus' name. Um, we definitely come against all cauldrons and pots. I remember there was also a demon. It looked like a like a, it was like a pot demon or something like that from a game. Um, we do lose a spirit of destruction upon it to destroy it in Jesus' name. We also and, you know we and we also bind these cauldrons and pot and pots and demons related to those things in Jesus' name. And, uh, you know, we come against seething, boiling, pride, stirring, witchcraft, wicked. And we command that all these things die in the name of Jesus. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Well, well hold on. I got to finish first. You got to let me finish first. You want to come up, though? Well, I mean, I can't, I can't bring you up, though. Nah. Well, no. Don't do that. Hey, don't, don't scratch me. But, you know, but you're just going to, you're just going to step on the papers and stuff. Can't do that. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Okay, so we bind all the enemy with chains and fetters. We strip them of their military and divine equipment, even their armor, in Jesus' name. Uh, so we come against demonic desert owls, and we take authority over demonic foxes. Lord, once again, please leave some alive. Uh, or you know, in in one piece, and we and we take authority over them and command them to destroy the desert, the demonic desert owls in Jesus' name. Sorry, but I can't do that. Um. Okay, okay, hold on. All right, you want to go up there? Okay. Ah, uh, you gotten fat though. Okay. Um. So, and then we come against the demonic foxes once they're done with their job, their you know, dirty work for us. And we lose divine and angelic desert eagles against them to stop, hinder, and attack, and destroy them in the name of Jesus. We come against demonic hyenas. And we lose divine and angelic hawks to destroy them as well. Well, I actually didn't put one for that one. Well, to destroy the... Okay, so we come against the demonic vultures and have the hawks destroy them in Jesus' name. And as for the hyenas, we take authority over them, the demonic hyenas, and we command them to leave. Wow, I, did I seriously not come up with a counter for that one? Oh, well. It's somewhere in, in my notes. Or in a search. Um, We come against demonic dragons... And we loose against them divine tigers to attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Although, technically, I could check right now, real quick. It's not really a problem. Floor is hard. 
Okay, yeah, I mean, I have a window open. Okay, so we come against the demonic hyena and we lose divine and angelic lions as well as warrior angels to stop, hinder, and attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Okay. We come against the demonic night wolves and we loose against them divine angelic warriors to stop and attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus. We come against the demonic bulls and we loose divine lynxes to do the same and destroy them as well in Jesus name. We lose oh wait uh, I have no idea what a doleful, but in any case, we come against the goat spirit, the satyr, pan, fawn, and we loose against them divine coyotes to destroy them in Jesus' name. And uh, all manner of dragon, the same, we loose divine tigers to destroy them in Jesus' name. Um... Man, where did this thing come from? Okay, we come against demonic pelicans and loose divine foxes to destroy them in Jesus' name. Um, we do the same for demonic owls. We loose divine foxes to have them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We loose against demonic leopards. We loose divine painted dogs to destroy them in the name of Jesus. Um, we take authority over demonic foxes. They or you know, again, some alive, and uh, we use them and we command them to destroy the demonic wildcats of the occult in the name of Jesus. You see, we bind every hateful and unclean demonic fowl. We rebuke their actions and bind them with strong chains in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against demonic vultures. I think we did that, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like a recurring thing. And we loose divine hawks to stop, hinder, and attack and destroy them if there are any left. Uh, we come against demonic screech owls and night monsters, which is apparently a bird. And we, well, for the night monster, we loose warrior angels to destroy them in the name of Jesus. And against, and against, uh, demonic screech owls, we loose divine Great gray owls to stop, hinder, and attack and destroy them in Jesus' name. We come against the demonic cormorant and loose uh, divine jays to destroy them in Jesus' name. What is it, bud? Hold on, hold on. You're cold? Well, I mean, the window's open, so. But hold on, let, let me finish this, because seriously, though, that's part of the reason why I have to, like, put myself somewhere. We're almost done. At least for this one. Um, I have no idea what this, this one's for. But we come against demonic ravens and loose divine martins to stop, hinder, and attack and destroy them in the name of Jesus. We lose. Uh, we lose. Hold on a second. We come against demonic eagles and loose divine raptors to destroy them in Jesus' name. We come against demonic hawks. And loose divine raccoons to destroy those in Jesus' name. Um, oh, okay, now I get it. All right, all right, I get it now. Okay, so we come against demonic owls and loose divine wildcats. 
angelic to destroy demonic owls in Jesus' name. And we, and we do it once more to be thorough about it in Jesus' name. Okay. And we're not necessarily done here, but doleful, a doleful creature. Wow. He sorrow. Oh, so it's like a creature of sorrow. Um, so a creature of sorrow. So we take authority over them and command that they depart from us in the name of Jesus. We won't have any sorrow. We'll have joy instead in Jesus' name. Um, and we also fence them off in Jesus' name. Let them not come back, Lord, in Jesus' name. Um, yeah, so that's done. And this is like the other part of the twelfth one. Um... Says here, okay, so we release the bow of the Lord and his arrows, and we pray he rain grievous rain upon the enemy in the name of Jesus. So we're continuing the attack. We pray, Lord God, you create a mini flood to flood with your bow you know, upon Satan and his demons and carrying them off. into the pit or wherever you would have them be casted down in Jesus name we release the sword of light against the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus um, we lose the spirit of praise the spirit of healing and joy in the name of Jesus we lose Ezekiel 5 and 2 and the sword of the spirit to cut the enemy. We send them with our blade into the air. In Jesus name. We lose Psalm 18 and 14 against them. Against the enemy. The whole host of them. And uh, Lord we bind your guidance to those arrows and. Enlightening Proverbs 3 and 5 and 8 in Jesus' name. All right, let's see. I'll test that endurance. We loose your arrows and bind power and increase speed to them, even swiftness to them as well in Jesus' name. Um, we scatter them with your arrows. We loose fiery artilleries and command them to shoot from above upon the enemy and below them. And at them, and you know, at them, yeah, in Jesus' name. Let my words pierce, cut through like an arrow and a sword upon the enemy in the name of Jesus. All right, and we plead the blood of Jesus over ourselves and call it done in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening.